Hey guys, it's Ninja Chortle here, and I finally, finally am able to say here is the first video game review here on Blurdy.com and on the YouTube channel, and it is with Resident Evil Zero of the Resident Evil Origins Collection. I finally, I picked this up last month, and I've been so busy I just had not been able to sit down and play much of it. And here I am finally finishing this review. Uh, Resident Evil Zero was a game that was originally released on the GameCube uh, back in 2002. And this is a re-release, a remaster of that game. The Resident Evil Origins Collection is a collection that has both really? Resident Evil uh, Zero and Resident oh. Evil uh, so, the original game. So this review is just covering Resident Evil Bobby Zero. Heavy. I may come back and do a review on Resident Evil at some point, but oh, that I game see. has been out You're on stars. digital. Uh, well, no offense, that game has been available digitally for the last around, year, so, so I'm not I'm going to review that right now. Maybe later. Wait, you're under arrest. No Again, offense. Resident Evil Zero came out in 2002 on the GameCube, you, you know. and it is a prequel to the original Resident Evil game. So all of this game takes place before the original Resident Evil, Edward, and it is starring Rebecca Chambers and Billy Cohen. Rebecca is a field medic for STARS, and Billy is a felon being transported on the Ecliptic Express for his execution. Uh, I'm not going to get into too much of the story. I don't like doing all of the spoilers on any video or anything like that. However, we're just going to talk about the game itself. Uh, this is literally the first time I've ever played a Resident Evil game that's from before Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 is the first game of the franchise that I ever played and is absolutely my favorite game ever in general. Just Resident Evil 4 is my favorite game. Uh, with that being said, this uh, game is very much different me, than Resident Evil 4, sir. 5, and 6. Uh, those were very action oriented <gasps> games where the camera was over the shoulder and it moved along with moved along the camera moved along with the character whereas the older games and in this case Resident Evil Zero has tank controls and the tank controls basically have a static camera it does not move from whatever scene that you're in but you move the character and it actually makes moving around a lot more difficult if you've never used a tank control before so it took a while for me to get used to that um, that's not a complaint whatsoever, it's just an observation, it's something that's worth noting because if you've never played any of the older Resident Evil games that might come as a bit of a surprise to you um, how different these controls are. You just have to remember if you push forward you're going to walk forward in whatever direction that your character is facing and same thing with backward uh, holding back on the stick will make your character walk backwards in whatever direction that they're facing. If you hold it to the left, you will turn your character's left shoulder around. They don't, it, it's not a free motion type running, so it, it takes a while. And again, with classic controls, when you're shooting, you cannot run and shoot. You are standing still in one place shooting. Um, but speaking of said shooting, there isn't much of shooting in this game. Now, I'm to be completely honest, I've only played about six hours of the game. I have not finished the game whatsoever. I got stuck at an area uh, with an enemy that I just didn't have the patience to uh, defeat. Although, not saying that it's completely uh, difficult, but I don't want to focus any more time on this game when I need to move on to other games. In general, I'm just saying right now, I don't like this game. It's not very likable. Yeah, it's not a bad game, but I just don't like it. 
Um, the puzzles in the game aren't very difficult. It's not scary at all. The combat, or say shooting and survival tactics are very simple. When you're shooting a zombie, or is what I'm going to call them, infected or whatever, but when you're shooting an enemy, all you do is put the gun out and shoot. There's no make sure you hit them type of mechanic. There's no actual aiming. Uh, you can aim low, high, or shoot. That's it. You cannot pick, oh, I want to shoot the one on the left because it's closer to me. Or I want to shoot the one in the back first or anything like that. You're just shooting. And that's pretty boring. It's pretty simple. Uh, you don't even have to have that enemy on screen. Again, the camera is static. So you can't see what you're shooting. But you can be shooting at something. And hit them. It's pretty... Well, bad. I, bad in my opinion. I've had fights where I've also uh, fought a, 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 I've even had a fight where I fought a giant centipede and I ran out of ammo right away, but I still defeated the centipede because I used my knife. I killed it, it, it had about 70-75% of health left and I was stabbing it for about 5 minutes. And I'd say that's... An, that's not really great. It's not very fun. It was just like, why is this happening? I should have been dead. Um, should have killed me. I'm using a knife literally and I'm running around, running with it and stabbing it with a knife. Uh, that's kind of not fun. And speaking of things that are not very fun or not very simulating, this game is just very boring. Um, I hate to piggyback on what someone else has said because I really don't like looking at other reviews, but I did hear someone say this game is very boring and I uh, agree with them greatly. There are very many stretches of this game where I was not shooting any enemies. There were no enemies to kill. There were no uh, immediate objectives. Like it's, it's very linear, so there's only one thing to do, but it took so long to do that one thing. And there were no zombies to kill. There was no obstacles in the way. It just took so long. There's no stimulating music, sound effects, or dialogue, cutscenes, or anything. It was just me running back and forth. Very boring stuff. Um, and there's a lot of that in the game. Now visually, this game is really pretty. It looks really great. The graphics are pretty damn good. However, they're not perfectly good throughout the entire game. There were a few hiccups, or I should say just moments where I felt the quality of the graphics, despite being at 1080p, uh, it just felt like they took a hit. And it's usually in the cutscenes. It wasn't for very long. It was just uh, three to five seconds at a time there was a, a small clip where it was just not very nice looking um, other than that the game does look great i did find a funny glitch though there was a moment in the game where i walked into a room and was attacked by crows uh, rebecca and billy and Billy took all that uh, assault on himself and was caught in an animation. So I ran out of the room as Rebecca thinking, okay, when you run out of the room, there's a whole transition sequence and I'll come out on the other side and Billy will be right behind me. Uh, but he was not behind me. He ended up still being in the room, so I'll say, okay, let me go back in there and I'll try switching to him and getting him to run out because I don't want him to die. I don't have that much ammo. I go back in there. He's still in there, but the crows are gone, but he's still in his animation like he's being attacked by the crows. The game allowed me to switch to him, but it would not allow me to control him. He was stuck in that animation, so I couldn't do anything at all 
other than restart the game from my previously saved progress, which was very lame. Now, I don't want to continue to harp on this game because I know that there are plenty of Re Resident Evil fanatics out there that have played the original games and me I have not. This is my first time playing the old school games with tank controls. Um, I'm sure the other Resident Evil veterans would love this game and probably already own it. Again this is like a month old now. Uh, but for me and for anyone that is interested in a Resident Evil franchise and have never played any of the games before, I would not recommend that you start off with Resi Resident Evil. I would, I would not recommend that you start off with Resident Evil Zero. There are better Resident Evil games out there, and hopefully, I would say start with the original Resident Evil if you want to play the older school, older games. Uh, in this case, just don't play this one. Not right now, at least. If you become a fanatic, then maybe revisit it in the future, but this is not a great jumping on point. So my score for Resident Evil Zero, I'm giving it a 6 out of 10. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, this is our first video game review, like I said at the beginning. We do have more on the way. I'm working on a video review for LEGO Marvel's Avengers The Rise of the Tomb Raider for PC and Street Fighter V is coming out next week so I'm going to be playing the heck out of that as well and we'll have a review so make sure you subscribe to here uh, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Twitch because I'm going to be streaming Street I'm going to be streaming Street Fighter V on Tuesday night when it comes out and throughout the month of February periodically so make sure you follow us on Twitch for those live streams and just come back and watch us on YouTube and visit blurdy.com again my name is Ninja Chortle and I'll see you next time I just want to say thank you for watching this video if you haven't already please hit the like button share the video with whatever social media you have and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We put up all types of videos as well as bl blog posts on our blog blurdy.com about gaming and comic books and cosplay, movies and TVs. We have reviews, we have previews, we just discuss whatever is happening in our nerdy world. So make sure you go and check us out. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Twitch so you can watch us play games. And we also have an Instagram account, which is 100% dedicated to cosplay. So if you are a cosplayer or just a cosplay lover, make sure you follow us on Instagram. But you're here on YouTube or maybe watching us on our blog, uh, blurdy.com. So while you're here, make sure you start watching this video right here. It's good stuff for Extra Life. We're doing charity streams for that. And then we're doing like, you know, raffles for people who are here as well. Um, just to raise money for our local Chicago uh, Children's Hospital. Okay. So, what made you want to do this in the first place? Because this is a that's a lot of work. It is a lot. It yeah. is a lot of work. Um, it all kind of started. Uh, I was on the Twitch Reddit a few months ago when I was working, 